Hello everyone. Welcome to a new series of current affairs for the month of May. So here we will discuss different government scheme that are related to various upcoming government examination. Hope you would like our video. So let's get started. The first important topic is common service centers. So this is basically are some of the access point of various delivery of electronic devices in village in India. So these CSC centers are introduced in order to ensure free flow of essential goods in lockdown. So the government had decided to work with 2000 CSC projects. So here customers can grow online and they can order supplies through an app that has been provided to village level entrepreneurs. So this basically comes under Digital India program. So it focus on providing efficient governance, service on demand and provides digital infrastructure too. So basically this is an important project that forms a strategic component of national e-governance plan of government of India. Right. So this is about common service center. Next important scheme is one nation one ration card scheme. So this scheme would ensure that no poor is deprived from getting subsidized food grains. So this ultimately ensure all specially migrants so that they can shop their products from any public distribution shop keepers. Right. So this ration card has uh, one of the important feature that they would be in bilingual in nature so that every state can adapt their own local language in order to provide this ration card. So this has also 10 digit ration card number which would give their unification code to the customers. So we are reading this particular topic because there are few five states who have adopted this scheme. Those are Bihar, Punjab, UP, Himachal and Damanandu. So these are the five new states which have adopted this particular scheme. Next come Defense Testing Infrastructure Scheme that is DTIS. Kindly remember those abbreviation to because in many of the examination abbreviation to comes. So this is basically approved by government of India in order to boost domestic defense and aerospace manufacturing. So here government had uh, tried to set up six to eight new test facilities in partnership with private industry. If this has happened, this would ultimately reduce imports of military equipments and help the country self-reliant. So this is about defense testing infrastructure scheme that is DTIS. Next important topic is Pradhan Mantri Bhartiya Jan Aushadi Pariyojana that is PMVGP. So one of the important thing to remember that it is launched by pharmaceuticals government of India. This is in news because there are different Bharat Pradhan Mantri Bhartiya Jan Aushadi Kendras who are accepting orders on WhatsApp and email, right, due to lockdown. So, so this particular scheme would try to provide quality of medicines at affordable price. So the medicines would be delivered at a patient's doorsteps. The ultimate goal of this scheme is to ensure excess of quality of medicines at a cheaper rate. Right. So it would extend the coverage of generic medicine to reach out pocket expenditure on medicine. Now question come what is generic medicine? Generic medicines are some of the branded medicines that comes under Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940 and Rules 1945. So next topic is Pradhan Mantri Vaya Vandan Yojana that is PMVVY. This is actually a step to welfare old age income security for senior citizens. 
This is a pension scheme for the senior citizen aged 60 years and above. Here one can invest 15 lakh for the tenure, tenure of 10 years and would provide return of 7.40 per annum which is quite good in its nature. LIC is a sole privilege to operate this scheme. And one of the important thing that GST is being exempted from this uh, amount. Here, a premature exit on account of critical illness, accident, death are also being allowed to the different beneficiaries. Next important scheme is Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampadda Yojana, that is PMSSY. So this would bring blue revolution. Blue revolution means increasing fish production. And it is possible only through sustainable and responsible development of fishery sector. So the government of India would implement this particular scheme during the period of five years, that is from 2020 to 21 to 2024 to 25. Here, important thing to be noted here that its nodal ministries are ministries of fisheries and animal husbandry. It tries to address the critical gap in the fishery sector and try to improve the availability of certified quality of fish feed. Apart from this, it also provides employment to 15 lakh fisher workers. So this is about this particular scheme. Next very important scheme is Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana. Though this has been launched in the year 2016, we are learning this particular scheme today because uh, we know 6.8 crore free LPG cylinders are being distributed to the beneficiaries due to lockdown on account of COVID-19. So here, uh, its main aim to provide LPG connection to poor households who belong to the BPL category. This particular scheme is basically to empower, empower women and protect their health. So the applicants must be women above 18 years of age and they should belong to BPL category. After announcement of this scheme or launch of this particular scheme, uh, there is a data available that it reduces number of death in India due to unclean cooking fuel. So it has uh, it's helped a lot to the vulnerable section of the society. Next come Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act that is Menrega. This try to ensure guarantee right to work. Right to work is not a fundamental right but it has been there in directive principle of state policy article 41. So this particular act provide wage of employment for 100 days in order to enhance quality of life. So here government of India had disbursed 170 crore to Manrega workers through the department of rural development and panchayat trust. Here job seeker would have to be 18 years of age and after the submission of the application within 15 days wage employment allowance would be provided. The most important thing to understand the role of Gram Sabha here as it is one of the principal forum for wage seekers to approve Manrega funds. So this is about Manrega scheme. So these are some of the few schemes uh, that are being that are in the news in the month of May hope you like our effort so that's all for today thank you